Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the basic controls in Slapshot and when you should use them. Obviously, there's the in-game controls panel, but anyone who has played the game for more than 10 seconds realizes that the game is harder than it looks. So let's hop into practice here and I'll show you what you need to know. Firstly, the most basic controls will be your movement keys. These are going to be your WASD keys, and if you've ever played a movement-based game, you're probably familiar with these keys already. Although your movement keys may be the most basic, they're arguably your most useful tool. Here's a clip from a community member showing how powerful movement alone can be. This is RYTKO playing without a mouse and still managing to beat defenders just using his movement. By now, I'm sure you've guessed that W is up, S is down, while the A and D keys are left and right. One thing I do want to point out though is that these keys are not relative to the way your player is facing. What this means is basically it doesn't matter which way your player faces, down will always be down and up will always be up. Next, we're talking about the name of the game and how to move your stick. To move your stick, you move your mouse along the x-axis or right to left. The way this works is when you want to move your stick to your backhand, you're going to move your mouse to the left. And same thing for when you want to move to the forehand, you move your mouse to the right. It's hard to get used to at first, but trust me, stick with it and it will become muscle memory. The best way to shoot the puck or hit it powerfully is to swiftly move your mouse from right to left to sort of slap the puck. You can use your movement keys to position your player so that when you shoot it, it'll sail perfectly into the net. I also want to mention that you can change your settings to move your mouse along the Y axis if you prefer. Basically just means moving your mouse up and down. In my opinion, it's better for shooting, but less favorable for defense and puck control. When you combine your movement keys with your stick positioning, you're able to control the puck like so. I want to note, however, that this is harder than it looks, but don't get discouraged. It's something that'll take practice, and I promise that you'll pick it up faster than you think. Next up is lifting your stick in the air. It may not seem like it does much, but lifting your stick over the puck is crucial to learning how to stick handle and change directions quickly. To lift your stick, you press and hold your mouse one button or your left click on your mouse. A lot of top level players in the game mainly use this for stick handling. However, I found the easiest way to learn is to start doing this on the boards. When you're being pressured on the boards, it's an easy play to lift your stick and change directions with the puck to get you out of a nasty pinch. Another utility tool is your power boost button, which allows you to make a short burst of speed to beat opponents to the puck. I've found a couple of uses for this, but all of them revolve around using this when you're moving at a slower speed. After my testing and asking the devs a little bit, I didn't find much evidence to suggest that this tool will at all help you when you're already skating forward at max speed. However, one of my favorite uses of this tool is again with board play. You can pair your speed boost with your stick lift to quickly get out of a dangerous situation like you see me doing here on screen. I've also found this to work really well when you need to get to the boards quickly to stop the puck from wrapping around. Lastly, I want to talk about the stopping mechanic. I'll admit that I use this the least, but it definitely shouldn't be overlooked. By pressing spacebar, you can stop on a dime, making it useful for stopping on the boards or an open ice. I personally like to use this on defense as it makes it easier to play a zone type coverage. I don't recommend stopping on offense unless you're setting up in position for a pass. If you have the puck and you stop, you're obviously going to lose the puck pretty easy, so just don't do it. But that's going to be it for the base game mechanics. I plan on releasing a training guide later this week and talking about positioning and whatnot. Be on the lookout for that, but if you like this video then share it around with other new players looking for help as well. Also subscribe if you feel ever so kind, but I'll see you guys later. Take care and goodbye.